The summary going into this fight is that it's basically the same as Cruz versus Garbrandt, which is true to a degree in terms of style. Cody Garbrandt and John Lineker are both heavy handed strikers, but Cody is definitely tighter with his technique, doesn't seem to overextend as often as Lineker. Also, Lineker definitely has more experience in MMA as a professional at 26 years old. We definitely know more about Lineker than we do Garbrandt. Also, Cruz and TJ have similarities, but their setups and footwork are quite different. When you watch a TJ fight, you see someone who gets hit more with significant strikes, someone who kicks much more often, and he uses great footwork, but at the same time, he hangs out in the pocket much more often than Cruz does. Most of TJ's best work is done with a combination with the hands that end with a kick, whether it's a head kick from Southpaw or Orthodox. It's coming at the end of a combination at some point. That will definitely work against someone like Lineker too because we've seen him get tagged with head kicks several times at this point. No doubt TJ's game plan will be to tag John with a jab or a kick to bait him forward. When John bites on that feint, he'll throw his combination and TJ will look to step back and slip those shots and counter with his own. I think the big question is whether or not TJ decides to counter with a takedown at some point because that will largely determine how this fight plays out. Obviously, the longer TJ decides to stand with Lineker, the higher the chance of him getting clipped with something. Not only that, but TJ has to be prepared to hit John with everything and not phase him at all. If TJ is looking to secure a title shot by trying to knock John Lineker out, I think he's in big trouble. Headhunting against Lineker could work, TJ could knock him out, but I don't think seeking a knockout is going to secure him a title shot. This is just my opinion, but TJ should capitalize on Lineker's forward momentum by getting deep in on his hips, looking for the takedown. He may not get the style points he's looking for, but losing to Lineker is much worse. Now, I would like to believe that TJ's quick footwork and his setups and his counters will keep Lineker at bay, but I'm not sure that's how this fight will go down. Lineker is not a thinking fighter, he's a reactive fighter. He's not thinking about what the opponent is setting up with the stance switches or looking for certain openings. Lineker is simply looking for openings. Fighters like John Dodson or even Dominic Cruz are going to stick and move against a fighter like this, hit him with a couple clean strikes, then get the hell out of the pocket. And as we saw with Dotson, that's not always going to win over the judges. Dotson even went in deep on Lineker's hips to take him down, and that wasn't enough. However, TJ doesn't fight like Dotson, and he doesn't really fight like Cruz either. As I mentioned, TJ lands his best shots in the pocket. Against Lineker, this raises red flags because the man has a chin made of granite and impact grenades in his hands. We've also seen TJ get countered off his kicks and hit in the pocket quite often as well. In addition, Dodson was able to put TJ away by TKO early in his career. Granted, that was a while ago, but still, he was finished and that's something you cannot say about John Lineker. Assuming TJ has covered all his bases and will stay composed, then yes, TJ is certainly the smart pick here and it's likely he gets it by decision or even a submission. I think a knockout is less likely given Lineker's durability, but who knows, Dwayne Ludwig made a career of capitalizing on forward pressure fighters and countering them with straight punches ending with kicks. So, if TJ can take that same philosophy and multiply his punching power by timing a counter when Lineker is pouncing forward to punch, then it's possible we see Lineker finally getting rattled or finished. I think we can confidently assume Ludwig has prepared TJ for this. For myself, I'm actually going with the upset in the spot, and I'm not going to argue with anyone picking the other way because I think it's a fair argument to say that TJ wins. However, as simple as it may be for someone like TJ to game plan for Lineker, it's just as easy for Lineker to game plan for knockouts. I don't see TJ taking the Dotson approach either because he usually doesn't give up that much pressure in his fights. But now I'm just speculating, it could totally be Garbrandt getting the upset on Cruz and Dillashaw defeating Lineker. No matter the outcome, we have some fun matchups coming our way after these fights are all said and done. Smart Money is on TJ Dillashaw to win by decision, using his footwork and wrestling to secure a victory. My pick is Lineker to win either by KO or TKO, or picking up a decision because of his pressure and the damage done for the upset. Then of course, we have yet to see if Lineker even makes weight, so there's the possibility this fight doesn't even happen or Lineker just looks like shit, so who knows. Thank you for watching Rapid MMA. Please follow me on Twitter. I don't nearly have enough followers on there. Twitter.com slash Rapid MMA. And please leave your picks below. Encourage the discussion. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. And a special side note, and this is just a complete what if conspiracy theory, but I wonder if Amanda Nunes will come out Southpaw just to throw Ronda Rousey off and fuck with her. That'd be incredible. I doubt that happens, but I think it would be awesome. Follow me on Twitter. Bye. You are happy, Joe. You're very happy. You're happy too, Mike. I'm happy too. We're friends. Ha.